So I got a lot of requests for making a Kyler Murray video. I didn't want to make one quite just yet. I wanted to give it a few more weeks just because I felt like it was too early, early on in the season. Uh, and now you kind of see why because now they've had a couple wins, had a couple losses. He's looked really good. He's looked really bad. Uh, there's some, some things he does very well, some things he needs to work on. He is still a young player. Uh, he's got a ton of potential. His, again, he's still someone who has MVP potential. I don't think he's there this year. That's just my opinion. There are a couple things he does wrong. First, let's talk about what he does right. I don't think it can be understated how impactful his ability to run helps the Arizona Cardinals. The fact that he can uh, move the football, it does a lot. And you really can't play man coverage against him because he just does such a good job of if you're playing man coverage, for one thing, Arizona will just have designed quarterback runs. Like on this play, it's man coverage, cover two man. Uh, and for the Jets, this is not the coverage you want to run against Kyler, even though it makes sense, you know, because you want to be able to, you know, have a guy on DeAndre Hopkins, you want to be able to double DeAndre Hopkins, but the problem is, now what's going to happen is that this is a design quarterback run, they're just going to have him run up the middle, and there's nobody there, because every other New York player has to turn their back, because they're playing man coverage. In zone coverage, you naturally look towards the quarterback, so you're more likely to be able to find a way to, uh, you know, get into play, but in man, you're not supposed to do that, so it makes it a lot easier for a quarterback to run with the football, and it almost forces you to not be able to play man coverage, or if you do, your defensive line has to really be aware of potential quarterback runs, but that makes it more difficult to rush the passer, so it's a huge advantage and it's why having a good running quarterback means so much in today's NFL and if you want to play zone Arizona's fine with that as well their system is fine with that where this is zone coverage it's a cover three zone and um, they just have a very simple play where their halfback runs out to the sideline on the top of the screen and then Larry Fitzgerald he's going to kind of just get into that first gap so basically there's a New York Jets player who's in charge of covering the top of the screen and there's only really one guy he can cover, but there's going to be two guys in his zone, and they're going to be spread out far enough that Kyler can choose which one to throw to. So, like, watch. As you see, he's going to step over to make sure he's covering the halfback, which ends up leaving Fitzgerald completely wide open. Not wide, wide open, but, you know, op in the NFL, that's wide open. They're able to get a solid game. That's nothing crazy, but quite frankly, Arizona will take those all day. That one ended up going for a first. You know, if there's a quicker tackle, it might only go for six, seven yards, but they'll take six, seven yards every play. They really will. So they love these types of plays. And quite frankly, they're not afraid to do that all the way down the field. If that's what they feel like they have to do, they're fine with that. Uh, and so and so that's what, I think that's what uh, this Arizona offense does well. I have some nitpicks with Kyler Murray. They are nitpicks. He's a young player. I don't want to be too hard on him, but we just got to be, you know, he's gotten almost unfairly, I think, compared to like guys like Mahomes and Lamar Jackson, who both had incredible second year seasons that won them uh, MVPs. Uh, obviously, Mahomes is, was his first year starting, but his second year in the league. Uh, and really, Lamar's uh, was also his first year starting. He only started about seven games before that year. So, uh, you know, listen, it takes time for young quarterbacks to grow. There are only, are only a couple of exceptions. We'll start things off with this play. It's zone coverage. Uh, receiver's going to run. Try to get sort of in the gap underneath the safety. Uh, there's no one else running deep. So for the safety, uh, if he runs shallow here, uh, then this is going to be pretty much completely taken out of the, out, out of the play here. Uh, and once this ball is snapped, you're going to notice that he does a good job of doing that. That's in the black circle. He's going to be able to take away uh, that uh, situation. So Kyler, who has uh, rolled out to the top of the screen, uh, he now no longer can make that throw. So that's what he maybe wanted to do. It's no longer an option. So he's under pressure right here, but he sees that he has another Arizona player. That's the one in the yellow circle. Uh, who is trying to get open. And again, there's no safety up there anymore. So potentially, he could run over and get open. This is just sort of a scramble drill. He looks up, reads the coverage, realizes he has uh, an opening downfield and is going to run deep. Um, but the thing is, there are several New York players in this area. I would say this is a good decision to make if you can get your feet planted. If you can get your feet planted, then sure, take a shot. It's, it's going to be tough. It's going to have to be really a perfect throw, but there's an opportunity for it to work. Uh, however, you got to get your feet planted. 
Kyler is not able to get his feet planted. He's going to basically just jump backwards while throwing it up, and he just isn't able to get it far enough to where that's incomplete. Could have easily ended up being an interception. I mean, that's just a dangerous throw right there. Uh, and from, in my opinion, it's not a big deal, but I do think it's a mistake. Like, this next one's another one that I would say is not a big deal, but is a mistake. It's zone coverage. DeAndre Hopkins is running over the middle, and worth mentioning, this is the zone blitz. So, uh, there's going to be less people in coverage here. So DeAndre Hopkins, who is obviously a very good uh, receiver, very good route runner, what's going to happen once this ball is snapped is he's getting pretty open. Now, I've uh, you know circled three players, Hopkins, of course, and then two New York Jets players. Those are two players in charge of covering the middle of the field. Uh, and oftentimes what you want to do is you can try to throw it right in between both of them if you feel like the window is big enough. In my opinion, this window is big enough. I think this is definitely a throw that Kyler Murray can decide to make right when Hopkins gets over the middle of the field. It might not be wide open, uh, and there is a safety who is going to start crashing in. So it's far from a from a gimme, but in my opinion, he should make this throw. Why do I feel this way? Well, it's largely because of the situation in a lot of ways. This is a third down and 14, and you're on your opponent's 44. So if you don't convert here, you pretty much have to punt. You can't kick a field goal, but also the punt isn't going to do that much. So even if you throw this pick, it's affecting about 15, 20 yards of field position, which isn't nothing by any means, but uh, I think it would be a lot more value. Uh, the risk reward is worth it in this scenario. Kyler instead is not going to elect to do that. I don't really feel comfortable calling this a mistake because this is something that I personally would recommend him doing. That's different than me saying this is a straight up mistake. Uh, I think that I personally would rather him make this throw. That's just what, what I consider to be the correct decision. But you can definitely make an argument that he shouldn't make this uh, throw. What you can't make an argument for is what he's going to do next, where it, you look at the offensive line. Uh, you notice that there is a little gap in between a tackle and guard that he can shoot through and potentially pick up enough yards to, if not get the first down, maybe get you in long field goal position. Uh, instead, what Kyler does is he's going to run to the outside of the tackle, which is just going to create a lot more pressure immediately, and he has to throw it away. Uh, and I just don't love that. And that's something that he does do a, a fair amount. To me, that's a bigger criticism than maybe making some uh, reads that I don't love is the fact that he will run outside the tackles sometimes, which it's really difficult to make that work in the NFL. Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. Uh, and I, I think that that's, that's a, a, a decent criticism. Again, I am nitpicking. I'm just trying to say that he's not quite on the Mahomes level. He is still a really good quarterback, a really young quarterback with a lot of potential. And I want to be clear, this is a good thing. When, Mo when Kyler Murray is playing good, not spectacular, you want to be able to see some mistakes in film. If you can't see mistakes, then he is who he is. Dwayne Haskins, I don't see too many fixable mistakes. I see, when I watch Haskins tape, I see him not being very good. I see him make mistakes, but I see him make so many mistakes that it doesn't look fixable to me. Murray's mistakes are fixable, and that's a good thing because he's young and he will improve and he will get better. Uh, about this game, one other thing I want to talk about was just what the addition of uh, Hopkins brings to the table. I already kind of talked about how they want to double Hopkins, so that means they are more likely to, you know, uh, give situations that Murray could run with the football. But also, just he's just a monster. I mean, like on this play, it's going to be a cover three zone. Uh, it's play action, and Hopkins is running deep over the middle. So really, the only thing worth mentioning is that because Hopkins is running on a, a sideline route deep over the middle, it's going to essentially create a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Uh, this isn't going to be poorly played by any means. Uh, as you see, Murray's going to fake the handoff. Uh, he looks over to Hopkins, and Hopkins, you know, there's not much separation, but he doesn't need separation. Murray's going to say, okay, I have the best receiver in the NFL. I'm going to throw it in that direction. Uh, he does throw it in that direction, and Hopkins is able to just completely blow by the New York Jets player and make an incredible sideline grab. Uh, for the completion. Just an incredible play. And that's what Murray can do. And to me, that's that's a great thing for Murray. I want to see him sometimes say, you know what, I'm going to just bomb one to Hopkins. And it's it worked out there for sure. So yeah, I mean, you know, I, I, I kind of took this approach as not just Kyler Murray, but the whole uh, Cardinals offense. I think the offense does something really, really well. And they're really difficult to stop when they're playing on. Uh, you know what? I think Kyler Murray, he's he's not a perfect player just yet. I think Kyler Murray, uh, he has the potential to win an MVP 
uh, at a certain point. I don't know if it'll be this year, but I think in the next few years, I could definitely see him at least becoming an MVP candidate. He's playing really good football right now. I know this game was against the Jets, but even against other teams, I think he's playing well. And even sometimes you'll see his numbers that aren't great. Uh, I think his numbers are actually oftentimes not as uh, bad as you'll see. Like he had that game where he had under five yards uh, per attempt. I believe it was 4.2 yards per attempt. But again, a lot of it is they're just trying to throw these shorter routes, which I understand. So uh, yeah, uh, what do you guys think about Kyler Murray? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.